Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the session. Uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the gearing and leverage ratios. So let's look at how to calculate uh, gearing and leverage ratios. Uh, these two ratios are basically uh, concerned with long-term capital structure of a company. So when you start a business, you need assets. So there are two ways uh, you can finance these assets. So first one is the, the equity through shareholders equity. And the second one is the long-term debts. So when you say assets, there are two types of assets, non-current assets, as well as current assets. So these assets are financed either through equity or long-term debt. So based on the contribution, so we can calculate uh, the ratio between equity and debt. So for this purpose, we can calculate a ratio called a gearing ratio, and this is calculated as follows. To calculate gearing ratio, we need to identify the long-term debt, and also we have to take the long-term debt as a percentage of the shareholder's equity plus the long-term debt. In addition to that, uh, we can calculate the leverage ratio. So how do you calculate the leverage ratio? What is leverage ratio? So leverage is the term used to describe the converse of the gearing ratio, okay? So which may be called the equity to assets ratio. So to calculate leverage ratio, what we need to do is we need to take the shareholders equity as a percentage of shareholders equity plus the long-term debt. Now let's move on to this particular question. You are given a financial position as at 31st December, 2020. Based on the information provided, uh, let's calculate the gearing ratio as well as the leverage ratio. Uh, first of all, first and foremost, you need to identify uh, the debt. So what is the debt? So in this case, the non-current liability, we have 10% debentures, 100,000. So this is the debt. So we need to calculate the debt as a percentage of the total equity and the debt. So basically we need to take the, the total equity plus the debt and this 100,000 of debt is presented as a percentage of the total equity and debt. So how do you calculate that? Now the gearing is 100, uh, the debenture, the debt is 100,000 and the equity is 970. So therefore it's very easy to calculate 100,000 is the 100,000 is the uh, debt. The debt is taken as a percentage of the shareholders equity plus the long-term debt as a percentage. So when you calculate the gearing, gearing will be 9.3%. Now uh, let's move on to leverage ratio, how to calculate leverage ratio. So in this case, what you need to do is you need to take the equity uh, capital as a percentage of the total equity and debt. So the shareholders equity is 970. And when you take the 970 as a percentage of the shareholders equity and the long-term debt, that will provide you 90.7% as the leverage ratio. 